Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Earlier this month, researchers at the University of Cambridge's Department of Zoology broke our hearts. They basically said that Spider-Man, yes, the fictional character, couldn't possibly be real. Obviously, he isn't a real person, but the researcher published a paper saying due to Peter Parker's size, he's not plausible as a wall climber, like a gecko. The group blamed the web slinger's feet, because unlike the gecko, they wouldn't be large enough to support the weight of his body while scaling walls. But no wall climbing? I mean, that's one of the main things that Spider-Man does. Without that, he just shoots goo and is radioactively guilty about his uncle. Exactly. So engineers from Stanford University set the record straight this week. Now, here at Stanford, we got an issue with that. Because if you don't just copy the gecko, but instead you're clever about how you distribute your weight, you can use a device like this, and a human can climb a glass wall. This is actually kind of a reintroduction to Stanford's gecko-inspired adhesive pads. The technology debuted in November 2014. At the time, Stanford News wrote, the engineers have shown that the special springs in their device make it possible to maintain the same adhesive strength at all sizes, from a square millimeter to the size of a human hand. So I guess what I'm saying is this. Cambridge, don't mess with Spider-Man, or apparently Stanford. For Newsy, I'm Leah Becerra.